Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on cold porcelain and polymer clay. So, the main difference between polymer clay and cold porcelain is that polymer clay is actually oven bake and cold porcelain is air dry. So, something really important that you should know about cold porcelain is that it only comes in this whitish color as opposed to polymer clay, it comes in many colors and um, you can get it um, already pre-made with that color. However, cold porcelain, if you want to color it, you would have to um, do that yourself with some acrylic paint and cold porcelain. So if any of you guys are on a budget and don't want to spend as much money as you do normally on clay, I definitely suggest you use cold porcelain because um, you can make this at home um, with a few ingredients and you'll actually, um, you can make it yourself for really cheap. So um, definitely if you don't want to spend as much money, um, you can definitely make this, that would totally work. Um, they do have cold porcelain sold in stores, however, I don't really recommend it because um, personally, I don't find the consistency very good, so um, I like to actually make it homemade, which is actually good because it's cheaper. If any of you guys are ever annoyed by how your clay charms always get lint and dirt on them, and um, it just really bugs you because they don't look as neat and nice as you really expected, um, one thing you should know is that cold porcelain is actually non-stick, um, as opposed to polymer clay it is sticky somewhat it attracts dirt um, so I'm gonna do a test and show you guys um, which attracts dirt more so let's get started so right now I'm just basically pouring dirt on the table and now I'm going to roll the cold porcelain and polymer clay and show you guys which attracts the dirt more so I got my two balls of clay this is the cold porcelain and this is the polymer clay so here we go. So this is what they look like and um, this is the polymer clay, this is cold porcelain. As you can see the cold porcelain um, did pick up some dirt however the polymer clay picked up more. Um, Normally they would not collect this much dirt, however, I actually rolled it in dirt, so um, that's why they're more dirtier. Um, but this won't actually happen when you're making a charm, they will not get this dirty ever. Um, but yeah, so um, as you can see, they are, um, polymer clay does attract more dirt and um, than cold porcelain. Now I want to show you some charms that I made out of both clays. So. This is made from polymer clay. It's supposed to be just a painted, the painted rose from Alice in Wonderland. And then this is cold porcelain. And I just, like I said before, you can color it. And I just mix some colors um, that I made with cold porcelain. So, if you guys can tell, polymer clay does capture more detail than cold porcelain. I did use a mold for both of these, but um, this will happen when you're making charms. Do not make detailed charms with cold porcelain, it will not work very well. Um, so if you're looking to make some realistic charms, definitely go with polymer clay without a doubt. Um, if you're looking to make deco pieces and use a mold, you can use cold porcelain if you don't want to use up all your expensive polymer clay. So um, that is something extremely important and you have to watch out for, you do not want to use cold porcelain um, every time when you're um, trying to make detail charms and stuff. For example, um, making this, if you tried this with um, cold porcelain, it would not work out very well because it just doesn't capture detail as much as polymer clay. Now I wanna to talk to you guys about the baking time and the drying time for this. So for polymer clay, um, the baking time always matters on your oven, however, personally, I bake my charms for 230 degrees Fahrenheit, and I put them in the oven for about 10 to 13 minutes, depending on the size. Um, so, that, and then, for cold porcelain, um, it takes, normally, about two days to completely dry, um, and that may be a problem for some of you guys if you have an order coming out and you want to make it as soon as possible and send it out then you should maybe um, think about using polymer clay because 
um, cold porcelain may take longer. So, um, that is just the baking time and the drying time for both clays. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, uh, no, no. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, definitely, it all depends on, um, uh, what you're using it for. So, um, I can't really lead you towards one clay or the other. It all depends. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.